Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. Today we are going to try something new and frankly a little bit janky because it's a trial run and I just wanted to get it up and running to see if it would work and what it would look like before we start making any adjustments. So what we're going to do today, as you see, is a webcam overlay. Why do I say it's janky? Because it's cutting off a quarter of the screen. Well, not really a quarter, more like, what is that? Six, the twelfth, somewhere in there. Six twelfths, we'll go with it. So, uh, take this with a grain of salt. There'll be pre production quality in later videos if we decide to keep going with this. But uh, for right now, we're going to run with it as is just to see how it turns out. And what are we going to do to test this? Well, of course, we're going to jump into some Ancient Domains of Mystery, the game that got us started. So, let's jump into it. New game. Hard roguelike mode, of course, the only way to play. If you see me glancing off to the side repeatedly, that is because I'm checking my OBS settings to see exactly how this is running. Please give me feedback. If the audio's off, the video's off, if there's any other weird issues, there are going to be weird issues. There are going to be video problems. There are going to be audio problems. I'm already aware this is a fresh copy of OBS on a computer I've never run OBS on in my office without any sort of special lighting, audio, etc. So there will be problems. All right, let's let fate decide everything. All right, we are... You are born in the month of the tree. Aspects, tradition, inflexibility, game effects. It's generally hard to change alignment. Plus five to initial willpower, plus two to initial toughness, plus one to PV. You are a male troll. You have red hair, light blue eyes, and a ruddy complexion. Your parents belong to the middle class. They are average people living in average quarters. Your father is a craftsman of mediocre talent. As a child, your parents cared a lot for you. Despite all circumstances, you enjoyed, enjoyed a happy and fine childhood. In your youth, you enjoyed competition against others to the fullest. You were a very active kid. As a young adult, you were a credit to your family. Your parents supported your plans and were very understanding. They tried to help you along your way with all means at their disposal. At the age of 17, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned bard. This could be interesting or horrible. Bards are extremely random in how they're rolled. So, we'll find out. Also, excuse me if it's a little hard for me to read, but this laptop screen with the integrated webcam is a little bit small and in order to get the resolution where I wanted it for YouTube I've had to shrink it down so it's a bit hard to read should be wearing glasses right now which would help with that but they're sitting at my house all right talents what are we taking uh, alert it's been forever since I played I know we need alert what else do we need what else do we need something 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 uh, we probably want long stride. You see, I remember there's something we need to get Treasure Hunter beside Alert, right? And it's been so long since I played. I'm trying to remember what that was. Um, miser, I think it is. Yes, it's Miser. But we don't want to start with that, we want to start with Long Stride, because that makes it easier for us to get away from things that might be trying to kill us. So we'll go with Long Stride. Oh, Adam. So we've, uh, again, got no portrait. I love Adam, but you know, they released this, it had a lot of great new features. There were some bugs that have never been resolved, they jumped into Ultimate Adam, which... We, we, we let, let, let's not talk about that right now. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we're going to hit play, which will give us a randomly generated name and story for those of you who do not know. For 6,000 years, the world of Incardia was a serene world, unmolested by the forces of chaos. And I actually hit skip instead of continue. So, yeah, chaos, it's bad. We're going to murder it. Let's immediately go here. We have a pet. It is... A pet cave bear. Very cool. I don't actually think I've ever been trollish bard before. If I have, I don't remember it. Uh, we have 22 strength. That's awesome. Learning 8. That's horrible, which I believe means we're illiterate. 
which is also horrible. We'll go back to our abilities in a second, but let's look at our other stats. Uh, will, 16. That's good. Uh, let's just resist confusion, that sort of thing. Also, will drainers won't really lower us under 10, which can be important. Dexterity, 15. Good. Toughness, 25. Extremely good. Yielding 31 hit points. Uh, 10 Charisma, 10 Appearance. I would like to have an Appearance of 11. I Okay, my memory is, again, not the best. So there's bad things that happen under 10 Appearance, and the reason you want 11 is because there's things that can drain your Appearance, and so you want to have 11 Appearance so that a Drainer does not reduce you under 10. We have Magic of 10, Perception of 11. So again, would like to have one additional point in Appearance. Hopefully we find a mud room that'll fix that for us. Uh, odd things I remember and don't, right? Uh, toughness 25 is excellent, Dexterity 15 is good, Will 16 is good, Strength 22 is fantastic, Learning 8 is horrible. Let's look at our inventory. Three torches, box of flint and steel, tinder, fiddle, and a whistle, which serve almost no purpose except for the whistle to summon, get our pet to come to us, and it doesn't always work quite right. Uh, we have a wand of light, that's okay. Two iron rations piece of raw meat, which we will eat immediately, because I believe raw meat does rot. Okay, 25 gold pieces is no good. We're going to do something a little cheesy to get around that. Alright, so our equipment. We have thick fur, reducing our two hit and our damage, but giving us two PV. We have a heavy club, with a plus one to hit, a 1d10 plus two to attack. It's a two-handed weapon. Uh, minus 1 to DV, plus 0 to PV, so we're actually at negative 1 dodge right now. As a tool, we have another instrument, which is a harp, so we'll unequip that because it serves no real function. Theoretically, you can call and tame monsters, but usually doesn't work. It's not worth investing skill points into. So the reason people take bards has nothing to do with your ability to play instruments. It is because you get random skills. Alright, so we have alchemy. That can be cool, though I don't use much of it. Athletics, which is fantastic. I believe that's because we're a troll. Uh, that increases the amount your stats go up at level up. Uh, bridge building is completely useless. Completely useless. No one uses it. There's only one point in the game where it might be useful, and there's better solutions. Uh, climbing 33. First aid 24. We need to get that up so we can deal with poison early game. Uh, food preservation 29. Food preservation is amazing because not only does it make our food last longer, it also increases the drop chance of corpses, which if your corpse grinding, you get certain intrinsics. That's amazing. Gemology 14. Um, gemology usually doesn't matter. Its biggest asset is, so if a wall is destroyed, it increases the chance of getting a gem from it instead of nothing or glass. Usually not that useful unless you're mining. You usually don't mine unless you're a weaponsmith, except for one cheese mode deal where you go into an area with ants, you let the ants dig out all the walls, and then you pick up the gems that drop. It's because the uh, that's a kind of a little bug, but it, again, it's cheesy. You take advantage of it. So the gemology skill doesn't just apply to your character. It applies to every character on the level when they destroy a wall. Uh, haggling, almost completely useless. Healing, we'll get that up. Good to start with it, though it's easy to get if we didn't. Uh, listening is, you know, okay, not super important. Mining, uh, we will probably never use that. Music, we will probably never use that. I mean, it's possible. It's possible. I may keep one light instrument early game, just in case we end up with, like, a cat in front of us that we need to try to charm. But, ugh, it's, um, you know, there's usually better ways to call monsters and other ways to deal with situations in general beside music, and it's kind of grindy to get the music to work. It's not usually worth investing skill points, but, you know, we'll take advantage of it if we can. Overall, this is not a great set of skills, except for the food preservation and the athletics. We would have gotten the athletics anyway. So, I also think trolls may automatically start with food preservation, so, yeah, nothing amazing here. Partially because we're dumb, would be my guess. We will immediately eat our piece of raw meat. We are really satiated now. Trolls gain bonus satiation when eating raw meat. Hence why they say raw, raw and bloody meat. Great. You feel really, really satisfied, satiated now. Please remember trolls have fantastic health regeneration, but they pay a price for that. They need to eat a lot more food as well. Uh, we are chaotic. So, yeah. All right. We're also a little on the slow side. We have a speed of 90. 
So the long stride applies outside of speed. That is a complicated thing that I probably will get wrong if I try to explain it without brushing up on it. Again, I haven't played Adam in a minute, a hot minute. We have 25 gold, we've got to fix that. So, which instrument do we want to keep? We will probably be keeping the fiddle. We'll sell the harp and we'll keep the whistle until the cave bear is dead. Might keep it permanently, just to have it. Uh, the other issue being chaotic is early game, our only real shop option is going to be out of the outlaw village. Blech. But we will do what we can. Yes. So I forget how many times have I played Adam on this laptop. Did Steam carry my information over? I don't remember. This could be a beginner's tutorial or it could be a random dungeon. Because the first few times you play it's a tutorial dungeon, and then subsequently it becomes a random dungeon. We will go in. It is a tutorial. You're in a rather unremarkable cave complex, and easy wind is going, and you feel that life is rife with new experiences to make. Okay. Um, I don't want to level up for reasons that we'll get to that you may remember if you've seen other videos. What I want, though, is some rocks. So we're going to let this goblin chase us and throw rocks at us, and potentially our bear will not eat him. And our bear killed him. Okay, what do we got? An unidentified potion, an unidentified scroll, which we can't read because we're illiterate, which is horrible. No, let's not leave yet. Well, actually, yes, we're going to leave and re-enter just for convenience because you always enter the same spot on the map, and we're going to drop things that we don't need right now and don't want to be carrying around with us. Um, sure. Next thought. Do we want to be in berserk mode? So if you're naked, other than a weapon and a missile, um, you can enter what's called berserk mode when you, well, here I'll show you. Excuse me, true berserk. So you hit F1, you normally enter Berserk mode, which is plus 7 to hit, plus 6 to damage, minus 7 to dodge. Um, but, F7 is very defensive, of course. But uh, the thing is, if you're naked, and I think there's a textual indication. F1. You did not give us any indication, so it may not take you. But anyway, you enter something called True Berserk which actually gives you additional bonuses. Let me remember how to do things here. Um, there's a way to show the message log. I need it so I know we're illiterate. Um, I forget how to do that. So question is help. You guys can relearn the game with me. Uh, message log. I really thought I hit that command, but apparently not. Okay, so you can see the difference though. So when we first entered Berserker, we got plus 7 hit, plus 6 to damage, minus 7 to DV. <coughs> Excuse me. Naked, we got plus 10 to hit, plus 8 to damage, minus 7 to DV. It's a little better. Do we want to lose 2 points of PV for that? Um... Thick furs are extremely heavy. They're a tolerable in-game armor for the PV bonus, especially if you are not overly combative due to the two hit and the damage penalties, which is an early thing to consider here. But I think overall we derive more benefit from being naked, and since they're heavy, I think we're just going to drop them here. Actually, no, let's not drop them here. Let's take them to sell them. They don't sell for much. We don't want to sell anything too expensive early game for reasons that we will get to. All right, let us enter. Does our cave bear follow us? Or did he have to be in an adjacent cell? He had to be in an adjacent cell, so we left him behind. Pets are obnoxious in this game. So he's adjacent, we leave, and, then, and the cave bear follows us. Excellent. We're not going to enter here yet. Um, Let's find the Outlaw Village, and this is what we're looking for. And sometimes you have to search for a while to find this. So in the re-release of Adam, they entered a hidden early game area. Uh, and you just find it by walking through the forest surrounding Trinia. 
So you find a well-hidden secret campsite deep in the forest. Do you want to E, enter it and explore its secrets, or leave? It? Probably to never find it again. Let's enter it. And this is very tricky because we're slow. We're going to hit F7. We're going to very cautious. We're probably going to take care of our bear here. We're going to use him because what we have to do... So rocks always sell for one gold. There are a ton of rocks in this area. Like probably three to four hundred of them. That's a lot of gold, even if you're only selling for one gold a piece. So we want to pick up a bunch of rocks to sell in the Outlaw Village. So the Outlaw Village purchases things as, purchases things for less than other villages, but because it won't ever reduce something below one, it doesn't reduce the value of rocks. So as I said, we don't want to level up, so we are going to up that corpse because if you carry corpses it drains um, food preservation number one um, yeah we don't want to level up so what we're gonna do is let the bear kill things if our speed was higher what I would say is we would just grab rocks and run in this case we're gonna let the bear fight level up which will help us in a future endeavor as well we're gonna pick those rocks up our bear is going to kill him and kill him man that bear is good come on bear come on bear Kill him. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Murder him. Murder him. Where are you going? Please murder. Okay. Pick up the rock. Pick up the gold. Pick up the other rock. Pick up the other rock. Pick up the rocks. Leaving the huge rocks. Uh, we can use the huge rocks as a troll. They're actually a very lethal thrown weapon. Um, obviously, because of their weight, that can be a problem. But, yeah, let them, the, their weight is a serious problem. Let's just go with that. So, we're going to go over here. Our goblin corpse is starting to rot, so we're going to go ahead and eat it. No harm in eating rotten food. And it'll rot away for long. We'll take more rocks. And again, we're just going to keep letting this cave bear do our fighting for us. We will let them try to hit us, though, because it trains our dodge, I believe. Or more specifically, your dexterity. Is that how that works? I don't remember. Find a torch, find a goblin torch, use it to train food preservation. This game is being a little laggy for some reason. I have played it once or twice on this laptop, I think. Sadly, my desktop is getting so old, this laptop absolutely blows my desktop out of the water. Your equipment becomes smelly, it means something's rotting. We have two goblin corpses, they're both rotten. If they're in a stack, they have the same level of deterioration. We know an item's rotting. Iron rations don't rot. Both of those goblin corpses are rotten. We'll eat them because we're trolling. We need lots of food. Lots of food. Okay. Goblin berserkers. Let's let this troll fight them. Oh, I should be using first aid whenever possible to train it. And he critted, so we'll again use first aid. Which is unsuccessful. Let the bear do his work. That is locked. We are going to kick it from an angle. We kick it from an angle because it's trapped. We do not want the trap falling in front of us. So this guy um, is usually friendly and actually becomes a companion, but sometimes he is wounded and angry. I think it has to do if you're chaotic or not. We are going to try to run from this guy and hope our bear does some work here. Oh, we are severely wounded. Okay, our bear did his job. First aid, maybe? Did not properly care for your wounds. Okay, cool. So you go back here and you search. I thought there was a hidden room here. Apparently not. Okay, I'm going to look for a command real quick. Because we can't issue commands to our companions. They don't work very well, but it is a thing. Maybe that would be under interactions. You should order to command companion. Control O. Control O. We want him to attack. Cave bear does not seem to care about your order. Fantastic. Control O. Attack. We're supposed to select the target. Apparently clicking on the enemy doesn't work, but pressing the spacebar does. 
Okay. Bearer is murdering. Control O. Attack. Control O. Attack. Control O. Attack. And he just does not care about our orders. He's a good tank for his little bear. There we go. Get that corpse. Let's open this door by kicking it from the side. And there's an ogre. Control O. Attack. Okay, bear does not seem to care. Control O. Attack. So when our pets kill things, it doesn't give us experience, it gives the pet experience, right? Ow. So we're trying not to level up right now, but we do kind of want the bear to level up. Other problem with companions, sometimes when a trap hits them, or just random things happen, they decide to turn on you and kill you. So be careful with that when leveling up your pets. Fresh meat, which I strangely I don't think ever rots. Loaf of bread, cool. Rusty potion, broadsword, gold. We're illiterate, so we're gonna have a draw straw. What is up with my words? I have a hard time with identification for a while. Gotta fix that literacy issue. Okay, we're gonna go in here. Control O, attack, and kill that goblin. Go boy, kill, murder. Or just leave me to be assassinated. Whatever works for you. Okay. Control O. Attack. Control O. Attack. Come on, dude. Do it. Oh, we are severely wounded. I really need him to kill that goblin. We have three HP left. He hits for two to three damage. That's not good. We have a high regeneration. I'm going to move north, hoping he does not get in there hit in, and our cave bear kills him. Excellent. So, let's apply first aid. Fails. Um, do we want to wait until we're healed? I do want more rocks. And there's some other stuff in here as well. Yeah, so is it control W to wait? No, that is not it. One W. That's current weather. Skies full of comforting stars. Uh, what is the command to just stay and wait until you're healed? There is a command for that. Um, extended wait. W period or W five. It becomes smelly. Eat. So again, only one thing here can rot. So it's got to be the goblin corpse. See, I really thought there was another keyboard binding for that, but I may just be crazy. So we are healed I mean, for the most part. 30 of 31. That's locked. We'll kick it from an angle. Step down. Nothing interesting. Open. Wow, we've been recording for 23 minutes already. So that may be trapped. I do not want him to stand next to that when I kick it. Okay. There we go. So we've got a hobgoblin leader and a goblin chieftain. Control O, attack. says he's going to attack it. Is he? Come on, dude. I like, need you to kill things. Thank you. Moderately wounded. Come on, bear. Okay, the goblin chieftain attacked the bear and missed. They're fighting now. And goblin chieftain dead. Sticks, walls, the cell for one gold, of course. I should maybe a little more. So let's search, because there's always a hidden room here. Well, multiple hidden rooms. Some bones from a prior prisoner. Some more bones. And I forget, is there actually... Yes, there's another hidden passage back here. And a hidden passage there that leads to an exit that we don't care about. 
So if we go down here, though, clothes that we're just going to sell, small shield, rusty medium shield, dagger, magenta, potion, and gold. Kills. We're going to take our bear with us, make sure he doesn't fall too hard behind. Fast characters are almost completely incompatible with pets because you keep losing the behind. If they can't see you, they just wander off. More rocks. And up here will be more goblins. Get all the rocks. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Do your job, man. There we go. Press one to pick them all up and hope the bear does his job. Okay, pick the corpses up to train. Scroll that we won't be able to read for a while. Cool, another rock. Rocks on the ground. Bear slaughtering things. Colon S, I believe, to switch positions with the bear. There we go. An important skill that I've forgotten. We've got a rock and another corpse. Coolio. Here's another goblin, and he's a rock thrower. He's going to keep throwing rocks until our bear eats him. There's a pile of rocks. And a pile of rocks. And a pile of rocks. And a metal cap, and a club, a blanket, hopefully waterproof, maybe, I don't remember, it may be a guaranteed fireproof, waterproof, or plain blanket. Don't recall which of the above it is. So, all the rocks. All the rocks. Not the huge rock. We are now strained. Which I believe actually trains our uh, strength up to a certain point, though with 22 strength, I'm not sure we're getting a lot of training value out of that. And I think that's pretty much the end of the level. So let's go ahead and wait for our bear and then leave. All right, we're gonna go over here. Okay, we enter Lothan and a little Lothel, an outlaw settlement. You enter a derelict and muddy settlement populated by equally derelict and muddy persons. Cool. So this place can be a little scary, especially with our low dodge. But we're hoping our bear can take care of us. Most of these guys aren't that much of a threat, but some of them can poison. Uh, oh, another interesting thing. Sometimes bears will pick things up in shops. Not just bears, all pets. will pick items up in shops and just walk outside the shop and drop them. So basically they're stealing for you. So we are going to control D. Drop everything we don't want. We're going to use the value of some of these items to figure out if they're anything interesting. But uh, we're going to keep a small number of our rocks. We have quite a few equipped right now, too, that we'll have to take out of our equipment. But we're, you know, actually, I should have left the heart back at where we were. Because we're going to have plenty of money, and I don't want to sell it here because we're not going to get a good deal on it. Um, we also have 882 gold now, so really, do we need, need to be doing this? Not as much, but we're not going to get more value for the rocks anyway, so let's just sell them. 37 gold for the thick furs, that's actually a pretty good deal. 40 gold for 40 rocks, she has 34 for 34 rocks. 6 gold for 2 wooden sticks, sure. We're going to unequip these rocks. We are going to drop a whole bunch of them. Those rocks are weighing 1,475 stones. We don't need to be carrying that much. Uh, control J, I believe. Let's just, nope, that gives us a note. Um, um, shift J. Oh, there we go. Shift J. How many do you want to drop? 
Uh, let's drop all but 20 of them, so 275. You get us 275 gold, yes. All right. So now we're going to drop things and estimate by his price he offers us if they're worth keeping or not. Um, I will actually keep the harp for right now, sell it for more money later. Go ahead and keep a couple bones on us for right now because uh, you can use them to tame certain canines, which could be important for this next part of the game we're entering. So, yes. Covers us 15 for the middle cap, it's junk. 7 for the clothes, junk. 41 for the small shield, probably not junk. 11 for the rusty medium shield, junk. 97 for the broadsword, not junk. 3 for the dagger, junk. 3 for the club, junk. 22 for the whip, probably junk. 7 for the sling, probably cursed, so we don't want it. Alright, we're going to get rid of this heavy club. We're going to equip this broadsword. There's a broadsword of defense, plus 0, plus 1d7, plus 1, and I think the defense suffix means it gives us plus 1 dv, I want to guess. Left hand, we're going to go ahead and equip a small shield, because it was valuable. It's a small mithril shield. That is, I believe, a plus two to hit, plus three dv, plus one pv. It's either to hit or damage. I think it's plus two to hit. I think, maybe. And now I'm kind of second guessing myself. Maybe we should have kept the armor and equipped it. No, it's really not good armor. It's so heavy. So we'll stick with this for now. We're going to go ahead and sell the heavy club. I don't think it's worth very much, so we're not going to carry it around at 120 stones weight. He'll give us 26 for it, sure. Uh, we are going to pick up all the items in store and stack them into one pile, or two piles, actually. Why are we doing that? Because stores restock based on the number of floor tiles that have been taken up. So if there's more open floor space, he restocks more quickly. We're going to turn this pile into the junk pile. We're going to put everything here we're not going to want. Okay, we may not want any of this. The other reason for doing this, so if he had scrolls or... Well, I gotta chuck some. Okay. If he had had scrolls or staves that are named, wands, potions, etc., when we pick them up off the floor in a shop, we identify them. So we know what they are. So that, for instance, there have been a. Bay. Oh, what's an important potion? Potion of gain attributes. Now we'd know what that potion would look like. We wouldn't have to ID it. Um, so, yes early game we are going to go to a potion shop so we can see what all the potions are because we don't have any way to ID. Um, we're going to hold on to that for a second and drop it somewhere else because it could be valuable later. Um, okay, potions. So it doesn't ID the potions that were already in our inventory but we now do know what a potion of booze is. A watery potion is always a potion of water. Um, yeah. We'll drop all that there. And then items we might want to come back for later, such as this staff of sensing traps or this potion of booze, we'll put in a separate pile just for convenience sake. It does slightly slow his restock rate, but not a huge issue. So, yes. Come on, bear. Alright, we're going to try to sneak up here. And since we're chaotic anyway. We're going to talk to this gentleman. Yurgis, the master thief, whispers, Well met. Methinks that ye should prove your skill and valor if we talk about business. You nonetheless could use some training to be prepared for the future. Do you want to train with Yurgis, the master thief? Yes. Train for some time. Master thief teaches you how to pick locks. Or excuse me, pickpockets. Since we're chaotic, we might as well know how to use that. 
Uh, it's only at a skill level one, so it's almost always going to fail, but you never know, we might get lucky. It's also a good way to provoke certain enemies if we want to start a fight with them. Um, since my general game plan is to turn lawful, we're not going to take any chaotic quests right now. We're just going to leave. And then, let's go to Trinio. We are hungry again. Trinio, a tiny hamlet. To enter Trinio, a tiny hamlet consisting of a few primitive cottages. A shop and a village hall. Trees grow peacefully between the small homes of the local populace. You feel at ease. Coolio. Congratulations. We've completed a quest. We can't find any experience points. Um, Okay. I had a thought, and I don't remember what it was, so moving on. Uh, I think since we're not chaotic night, Chaos Knight, even though we're chaotic, uh, this gentleman will sell to us. I just think he gives us worse rates. So let's go ahead and restack all of his stuff and things. Can we carry weird strain plus? We'll just drop everything here. Uh, we are going to do all unpaid items. I did that wrong. Colon D, shift X, I think, or just X. Oh, X and one, that's what it is. Yay, key bindings. Control D, oh, wrong button. Colon D, X for unpaid, one for drop all. There we go. Uh, we do have the monies. We are hungry, though. Let's eat these goblin corpses. carry a lot of food. We also want to be burdened to train strength for a little bit. So since we've got the money, so let's look what we got. We'll also name items. The largest stack is almost always uncursed. So there's 20 of those, only one of that. That is uncursed. So not blessed nor cursed. Control A, enter a note. Uncursed. Alright, loaf of bread. We have no way to know if it's cursed or not because there's only one of them. Apple. Only one of them. We don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, iron ration. There's only one of them. We don't know. Based on the price, though, I just guess it's probably blessed. Uh, so let's compare the two stacks of large rations. So there's 20 large rations at 480. So 480 divided by 20 is 24, I think. That's less than the 33 gold for that single large ration. Since that single large ration costs more, we know it is blessed. If it had cost less, we'd know it was cursed. Control D, blessed. All right, let's buy some large rations. Uh, I forget how much gold I want you to have on me. Let's pick up maybe five and see what that puts our burden status at. Uh, we have. 1300 gold. We're good. Didn't even burden us because we're super strong. Um, what if we just pick up all of them? We're strained. Uh, let's drop a few. Remember, trolls need a lot of food. We're still strained. I just want to be burdened. Uh, five. Hold on one second, my phone is dinging. I do need to check it. Not what I need to worry about. Okay, we're burdened now. We'll go up here, we'll pay for everything. We hit the dollar sign, we hit pay A to pay all. We'll grab our bear and I leave. Um, Try to remember if anything in here is level restricted, because like we have to talk to the little girl to open the um, puppy cave, which we're not going to go to right away. We're not never going to finish the quest, but we uh, may want to get into it later because there's an ant hill in there. Also, we need to pick a druid quest. We have healing. Okay, well, I mean, the options are the druid quest or the carpenter's quest, which you get from village elders, the village elder quest rewards you with the healing skill. The um, druid quest re rewards you with the herbalism skill. We have healing, I believe, but not herbalism. Is that correct? So we want to take the druid quest. Okay. Uh, we could also talk to the sheriff and get his quest. 
why uh, we're not gonna do it. We may come back and take his later quests. His quests are level capped, so once you get to a certain level, some of his quests will disappear. Let's chase down this druid and talk to him. Guthalak, the druid grunts. Recently we have been plagued by the attacks of an evil sorcerer. He once was a brother of my order, but now has fallen for the dark powers. He is a black druid, corrupting the powers of nature and twisting them to suit his dark needs. Another advantage of this quest is the lower level of this dungeon has slugs in it, which with food preservation, preferably a hunting weapon, you may be able to get a slug corpse. Slug corpses grant, I want to say, acid resistance, I think, which is very rare and intrinsic. His name is Keithrax. There's also an artifact in this quest that's not great, but you can sack it. Uh, his name is Keithrax. Find him and defeat him. He has set up his headquarters in his sister cave to the southeast. If you return with success, I'll reward thee. Cool. So we got that quest. We're going to talk to the tiny girl. Has to see my little doggy. To disappeared near the black hole on the pass. Me fear it got lost. Would you get it back for me? Hurry, mommy says there are bad, bad things in the cave. So I forget what day it is, but... After so many days from the start of the game, the puppy's automatically dead. 90% of the time, you get to that dungeon level, he spawns in, because you get there before the time requirement. Before you find him in the dungeon, the mobs have already killed him. It's a lot of luck. There's n is there are ways to increase your chances of getting the puppy out alive? Yes, but he's probably going to die no matter what. Um, with that in mind, we're not even going to worry about it. Uh, and the reward is trivial. So this is basically, this is a trap. This whole quest is a trap. When you first start playing Adam, this is the first town you find. This is one of the first quests you take. And you're like, this must be an early beginner's quest. Almost a tutorial. This is something I need to complete. And if I can't complete this, I, I can't handle the rest of the game. It's what I thought when I first started playing Adam. It's actually an extremely difficult quest. Especially for early play early players. And it's timed, so that forces you to rush a lot more than you normally would in Atom, which will kill you. So, beginner players should just not do this quest. But still, unlock the dungeon. Why not? It is kind of a way to shift piety around, but meh. Okay, we need to find Bluff the Water Dragon. Where is he? He's hiding from us. We must find him without losing our bear. I actually think our strength's too high to be trained by burdened, but still, we'll keep the food. We're going to end up needing to eat it because we're not even satiated anymore. So, despite issues with Ultimate Atom, I do actually like it. Uh, and the reason I'm bringing that up, even though I said earlier I wouldn't bring up Ultimate Atom, is because um, probably my favorite race in Ultimate Atom is the Troll. Because, again, he's kind of cheese mode, though. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, he's really hard to play. But, there's a trick. And if you know the trick, he's really easy to play. Chat with the water dragon. Blup, the baby water dragon squeaks. Sniff. Chat. You know where my mommy is. Yeah. So, I've actually wondered this, and I've never confirmed it. Do you really have to talk to Blup? Like, the thing is, later in the game you find his mother, and if you tell him, her, where he is, you get a really nice reward, especially since it's a Raven Star sign, it makes it better. Um, so, I always talk to him so I know where he is, in quotes, but do you really have to talk to him to know where he is? Where is she? If you just meet her and have never seen Blup in the whole game, will she still prompt you and ask, do you know where my baby is? I don't know. I do not know. So, let's exit town. We have a few items we want to drop off. We're going to go up here. We are hungry again for the millionth time. We are also strained because we're hungry because it debuffs strength. Let's drop some things we don't want to carry with us. This blanket until we figure out what it is and what its curse status is. This harp because we'll probably sell it. <coughs> All the potions. <coughs> because we have not identified them. Same thing with the scrolls. We'll keep the bones for now. Keep all the rations and the food. We're going to need it. We're a freaking troll. Okay. Drop everything. Let's eat.
Let's see what we're eating. Um, fresh meat. You're done eating the pressed piece of fresh meat. Test tasty meat. Cool. Let's eat this loaf of bread. Somewhat stale, but nourishing nonetheless. We're satiated. Let's just go ahead and bloat ourselves. We'll eat a large ration. Normally that would have bloated us, but we're a troll and we have big stomachs. They just tasted good. Okay, we'll stop there for right now. Leave with our bear. And right there is the puppy cave. Also known as a small cave entry leading to the depths of the mountain. Excuse me, I need a drink. All right. So this cave is always here. It is a small cave entrance, and it has a skull above it for a reason. So what time are we at on the recording? Forty-five minutes. Yeah, we can probably do the top level. So people who've watched my channel before, they know what this cave is. They know what's up, and they know why we're now going to get underburdened. There we go. We're bloated, which does debuff us. But the bloating will pass. The burden status would have been maintained. Uh, so this cave, the monsters that spawn in it are spawned at double your level. So if you enter this at level 1, they spawn at level 2. You enter this cave at level 2, they spawn at number level 4. That effect continues. So the trick is you enter it as low as level possible. So the initial spawn is at level 2. Hopefully if you enter it at level 1. You try not to level up in the cave, because if you level up, that drastically increases the level of the new monsters that spawn in. What some people do is they enter this game early game, leave it to so all the monsters that spawn in at level 4, they leave, then later in the game when they need to access to High Man Mountain Village, which is where this leads to, they, um, they come back and they try to stealth through it without aggroing the monsters. New monsters will be spawning in at high level. You just hope at that point you don't run into them. Maybe use some teleportation, some invisibility around that. Other players, such as myself, this is our first challenge of the game. Is we're like, while we're low level, let's just run through this quickly. Get near the end and do some shadiness and stand on the stairs, rapidly killing monsters until they get too tough for us to kill easily from a distance, and then we dip down the stairs. Good way to get some experience, because if you can kill monsters at double your level, you level up very quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll enter. We're going to use that bear to full advantage. Uh, there are items on the ground. These guaranteed items. One of them tells you how many, how, what the distance in this dungeon is to a guaranteed item called the waterproof blanket that protects your backpack against water damage. Extremely important. If you don't have that, you hit a water trap. Scrolls in your backpack get destroyed. Armor rusts, etc. Very important item. Um, yes, yes, we need that. We need it, we need it, we need it. Um, the other scroll is a warning that says the longer you're in this cave, the more deadly it gets, which is misleading because it's not really time based, it's level based. We can't read either of those because we're illiterate. See? You don't know how to read. Uh, what did I just do? I hit a button by accident. That's look. Hold on. There's a thing I want to do. What is it? What is it? There we go. If you hit shift L, it checks your literacy status and says you're illiterate. Odd command. So, come on, bear. Bear, come on. Follow me. Okay. Door. Potentially trap. Make sure the pet's back so that he does not accidentally get hit by a trap. Here's some mobs. We're going to switch positions with our bear. Let the bear slaughter them. Wow, this bear is tough. Okay. You notice a goblin corpse rotting. We're going to keep this cobalt corpse simply because it um, increases our our uh, our our um, That was an accident. A, um, it increases our um, food preservation. Okay. Uh, I picked those items up because some of the items in here are actually quite valuable and not all, most of them, some of them are. Some of the items are guaranteed. I 
don't remember other than the waterproof blanket, which is guaranteed. Like, it's some pretty mundane stuff for the most part. Uh, we always pick up quarter staves because in the newest version of the game, quarter staves are sometimes magical and extremely cool. Yes, this brings us back to Burdened. Uh, we're going to swap places with the bear so you can kill this bat. We are now satiated, so we are going to eat a large ration again. While our bear kills stuff, and we are no longer burdened. We are bloated again. We're not going to carry a rusty crude spear because they're always trash. Switch place with the bear. Have him fight the orc. We don't want that spear. It's probably junk. Scroll that we can't read. The orc is not hostile. Where's our bear going? Come on, bear. Oh, bear. There we go. Unidentified. Come on, bear. There we go. Okay. I almost uh, attacked something. And I accidentally hit a button that we don't care about. Colon S should be switched. There we go. And we're going to push the bear down the hall. So if if a friendly creature is in front of you and you try to move into its space, it will move forwards. So you can kind of shove animals down halls. So we're going to push the bear back and control O, tell it to stay put. And we're doing that because theoretically this door could be trapped. And that's a whole bunch of bats. We're going to swatch, switch with the bear. Ooh. Apparently while waiting, the bear was not pushable. But we're going to let him do our fighting for us. We do have to command him to follow us again after this. Pick that up, trade, food preservation. Our bear has wandered off and we're bleeding. Great. Um, first aid. And he's not told to follow us. Oh, and that is a were rat. Um, I would really like for our bear to show back up. I don't know where he went. We should have commanded him to follow us again before we pushed him into the room. Don't know where he is, don't know if he's alive, don't know what he's doing. I keep hoping he will reemerge. Uh, you know what? Tools. Whistle. Let's see if this works. You for use. Whistle. if he comes to us. Okay, I really want my bear back. We're probably going to gain a level here. Um, but otherwise, I don't know how to get our bear back. So this is my fault for not telling the bear to follow, and in turn, he just ran off and is nowhere to be found. So let's kill the orc behind us. We're not surrounded. The more surrounded you are, the less damage you do, the worse you dodge. You dropped a large shield and a wooden shield. We're not going to mess with the wooden shield. The burden again, satiated. Rat corpse is rotten. Let's eat a large ration. Interesting, this guy can't hit us. So we're going to fight rats. Basically, just to go find our bear. And we leveled up. So now things will be spawning at level 4. So, notice that you lust for blood. That keeps flashing in chat. That means we're true berserk because we're naked. So, we're going to max out athletics. We want 
climbing to be up. We also want swimming, which we don't have. We can get swimming by giving car blessed carrot juice, I think it is. Or is it just carrot juice? Carrot juice or blessed carrot juice. Don't remember which to blow up the baby water dragon. We don't have that right now. We also want climbing to be up, first aid to be up, healing to be up. This is about priority because we only get five points. Athletics was definitely a priority. So let's do first aid. Then climbing. We want climbing because we fall in a pit trap that mitigates damage and helps us get out of it easier. Late game doesn't matter. Early game pit traps can kill you in the wrong situation. Let's increase healing. Okay. You lose all sense of hope of getting out of here alive because now monsters are spawning at level 4. There is our bear. Control O. F. Follow me. Okay, bear does not care about your order. Control O. Follow me. Cave Bear does not care every order. Control O. Follow me. Okay. He is coming to us. So he will murder rats on his way. We are just going to sit here. He has wandered off again. That is a pixie. We're going to try to kill it and see if it drops anything useful. Our bear apparently can't figure out how to get out of that room. Great. You know what? There. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Murder some stuff for me, and then come to me. You know, you're not being overly helpful right now. Thank you. Pick up the rat corpse to train our... Train our food preservation. Man, I did not want to level up this early. It's all right, though. Black robe is probably junk, occasionally useful, though. Leather cloak, you probably junk, occasionally useful. Scroll we can't read, and a rat corpse left by our bear. Thank you, bear. Could you please kill this? Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, <coughs> this is also useful because right there, we would have had to go clear back and run around a circle to get uh, away from that cat. Oh lord, nope, we are not fighting a potentially level 4 claw bug right now. Um, because for those that don't know Adam, there's a thing called the Cat Lord quest. The Cat Lord will get harder based on the number of cats you kill. If you don't kill any cats, he has a special reward for you. So the goal is to not kill any cats until you reach him in the game. Also, you shouldn't kill kitties. Kitties are amazing. Um, so if you kill the kitty, it's all bad. If your bear kills the kitty, though, it does not affect you. Blanket, that is probably our waterproof blanket. So I'm going to hit Control A to name it. Right, water? Question mark. Because we're not sure. There could be multiple blankets in here. Uh, well, let's take the rat corpse for training our food preservation. Bear. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, bear. Come along. Cobalt corpse rots away. Equipment weighs less. So the equipment weighs less is like a secondary message. So sometimes your character is just so stupid they don't notice their equipment that something is rotted away in their backpack. And if you see the your equipment suddenly feels lighter, you know that something probably rotted away in your backpack. Sort of redundant in that case, though. Here's a whole bunch of mobs for our bear to eat. If he's not a coward that runs away from danger, come bear, kill, murder, destroy. Please do not run away. Thank you. Take the bread. Move around here. Hopefully the bear kills the rat. He does. Need him to kill that bugger bear. He does. Come bear. Come. Switch places. I saw a message I did not recognize. Hold on. Okay, I saw something that wasn't there. I'm just losing my mind. It's all good. Pick up some arrows. We've not found the exit yet. Bear, could you, uh, you know, kill that? Thank you. Our equipment becomes smelly. Well, it's rotting. We're going to go ahead and eat that giant rat corpse just in case that's it. Pretty sure those four rat corpses was stacked with that rat corpse if they were rotten. So I think it's probably the giant rat corpse. 
We'll eat it. Mmm, tasty. You feel really satiated now. So now we are bloated, which slows us down. We're almost in an hour on this recording. Our bear just murdered something, but we don't know what. But it suddenly seems to weigh less. It was not the large rat. Which was it? It was... Oh, well, that single rat corpse rotted away. That could be unrelated. Um... Checking to see where we had not explored. And our bear just wandered off. Come on, bear. Orc Scorcher. Let the bear handle that. True battle axes can be good and they sell for a lot of money, and I keep hitting that wrong button. Uh, colon S. Switch with the bear. Let the bear do our fighting for us. Thank you. We do not want that crude spear. Here is the exit. Bear, could you please kill this? Thank you. Bear is a cut purse. Bear has nothing to steal. Let the bear murder all that. Take the large bat corpse. Oh. Sorry about that. Let the bear kill the lizard. Another good thing is if we encountered a, a karmic creature, the bear can kill that for us right now as well, so we don't accidentally get cursed. Take the giant lizard corpse, take the scroll we haven't identified. See if our bear will eat the him. Yes. Okay. Oh, blink dog. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. So again, I don't want to level up too much in here since he's already aggroed. Probably a little rough to get him off the level. Let's bear fight him and just hope he drops a corpse. He did not. We should have named him first. That was a mistake. Because only the original blank dog, which will summon additional blank dogs, only the original can summon. So you want to know which one the original is to keep it alive. The reason we want Blink Dog is because Blink Dogs, if you eat them, grant you uh, intrinsic teleportation control. Take a bandit corpse. You can give bandit corpses to the sheriff in Trinio, and he gives you money for them. Um, but in this case, we're just taking it again to train food preservation. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait here. I'm going to eat some stuff that might rot. And we're going to hopefully have our... We're, going, we're actually going to kill stuff now. Why are we doing that? Because we gain lots of experience. And we're right by the exit, so if things aren't safe, we can run. So now monsters are spawning at level 6. Max out athletics. First aid did not go up a lot because we were forgetting to use it. Uh, so this cap here, the more you use the skill, the more that goes up. Um... Get healing above 50, we'll leave it there. It'll train itself over time the more we walk around. But again, I want it above 50, especially early game. We'll go ahead and get healing up. We get in there skill. Do we want to start getting treasure hunter? That's a good question. Um, we could also get quick. We are a little slow. I think we need quick, because there may be things we need to run away from, and I'm not confident we can right now. Let's take quick. You sense that your time is running out in this place, and Death's Claws are gripping after you. Our speed's uh, only at 60, 92 right now, because we're burdened. Let's eat this large back corpse. Now we're burdened and bloated. Drops our speed all the way to 87. Or not our speed, but our, um, well, I mean, yeah, our speed, yeah, that is the name for it. Let's kill this guy. Monsters are spawning at level 6. I'm really hoping that bloated status goes away so we can eat more, so we can run away if needed. We got the tiny coral. Our other hope is if we need to run away, the bear will distract them, right? Some of these 
monsters are left over from earlier, thus they are not that tough. Equipment becomes smelly, we're still bloated and can't eat. It's good we could be training pickpocketing, right? Why are we not doing that? He knows to attempt to get very angry. We're gonna murder him. Equipment becomes smelly. We're still bloated. Now oh, our bear got that one. Sorry, this is a little grindy, guys. I know this video is running over. I shouldn't have just gone ahead and cut it. But honestly, I want to see if we live or die. And if you get too greedy in this dungeon, you die. And I'm getting a little greedy now, but I want to get to level 5. Equipment suddenly seems to weigh less. That rat was tougher than it should have been, which means it was probably level 6. Right lower level. Dropped a scroll though, that's cool. There's a bugabear. Killed him easily. Do we ever equip a rocks? We did not. There we go. Not equipping there is tough because we don't know it might be first. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so we're not able to hit him very easily, and he is capable of disarming us because he's a swordsman, so I'm going to swap with our bear and let our bear kill him. That was a tough little kobold. Oh, and it's W5 is the hotkey I was trying to remember earlier, and the 5 wouldn't make any sense to me because it's not 5 as in on the top of your keyboard, it's 5 as in on the numpad we're using to control for the game. Oh, I forget that he robs us. That was horrible. And, let's see. It's rattling feet, fingers, your pockets, your purse feels lighter. Yeah, he robbed us. I would like our bear to kill him bear killed him. Unfortunately, he will not have all of the money he stole, only part of it. There we go. That would have been extremely detrimental. I think sometimes it actually shows a message that says, like, the King of Thieves or something like that has taken his cut, which is indicating to you that you're not going to get all your money back. Why am I running from some of these enemies right now? I don't actually know. My bear just left. Like the bear to come back because I can't fight that claw bug. It will kill me. Uh, use whistle. Our bear has left us again. Um, claw bug. Somewhat experienced, not injured. Somewhat experienced means he's probably not massively over leveled. Let's see if we cannot kill him. You're bleeding. Okay. We're actually doing a pretty good job of dodging right now. Okay, this is all bad. But there's our bear. So, that's a corpse fiend. Um, he sucks at diseasing higher level characters that have high, I think it's will, is what he's playing against. Maybe toughness. But lower level characters, he sometimes infects them with disease. So there's our bear. Control O. Attack. We'll tell him to attack the corpse fiend. Okay. We are going to. Can we use first aid? We totally can. We're not going to fight these guys because they're going to kick our butt. They're much more high level than us. We're going to use first aid again. We're down to 14 health. Okay, he killed the Minotaur zombie. We're losing blood. We're at 14 health. I'm going to try to switch positions with that cave bear without dying.
first aid, we've stopped bleeding. Oh, bear. Do not freaking abandon me. Control O. Attack. Cave Bear does not care about our commands. I'm thinking about praying because that... That little bug right there, that claw bug, can do a lot of damage and he penetrates armor. Not that we have great armor, but... Um... What do we have? Try calling me with a fiddle. I'm not even sure you can call him bugs. Um, okay, so... Start the game, I think, under almost all circumstances, with three prayers. Yes, we're 12 health. We're likely to dodge him, but I think he can crit for over 12. So we are going to go ahead and pray. So, underscore. You pray to Vagrak. You are healed by a black light surrounding you. Oh, of course, our bear immediately kills him. Wish that it happened sooner. Um, yeah, we're going to be changing alignment anyway, so we don't care if the Dark God likes us or not. Control O, attack. Bear does not care. Control O, attack. Kill that dwarf, please. Thank you. Did you drop anything cool? Nope. And we are going to go down. This is getting in over our heads. Let's not get too reckless. All right. We are now in Unremarkable Dungeon Level 1, which is pretty unremarkable, but it is long. And on that note, since I have gone to an hour and almost 12 minutes on this recording, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go outside for a minute, come back in. And then I'm actually going to immediately record a second movie or video or let's play or whatever, you know, words, words. I'm so out of practice with this. Um, immediately going to do that because I'd actually forgotten just how fun this is. And it really adds a lot to the game to kind of give this exposition. Um, so, and it's been a while since I played Adam. Adam is glorious. Adam is life. So I will catch you guys here in a few minutes. Thank you and uh, catch you in a bit. Bye.